This video will give an explanation of the components and the installation of the Kyoto Cooling Humidification System. Each unit is supplied with the buffer tank, the flexible uh, water hoses, the electrical cables, and the reverse osmosis unit. Inside the filter cabinet, we have a 5 micron uh, pre filter, two carbon filters, a high pressure pump which pumps water to the membrane, and then a final filter after which the water goes to the humidification system. Each cabinet comes with a water detection sensor which will trigger an alarm if there is a leak within the cabinet. This is the reset for the leak detection system and finally the power inlet for the unit. Each cabinet comes with three electrical connectors. The power connector, the uh, water detection connector, and the water alarm indicator. Each cable uh, connector is numbered and goes with the corresponding uh, number on the cabinet. The power connector, the water sensor connector, and the water alarm indicator connector. The power cable, the other end of the power cable is plugged into the humidification unit. The water detection sensor goes on the floor underneath the uh, uh, humidification unit. The reverse osmosis system comes with four quick connect water connections. The first thing you do is remove the shipping plugs. And then the six millimeter tubing is connected to the drain and buffer connectors. The eight millimeter tubing is connected to the water supply and to the humidification uh, connector. The six millimeter tubing is also attached to the buffer tank, which is supplied to guarantee a continuous supply of water to the humidification system. Now we will look at the uh, ultrasonic unit which consists of the power and control cabinet and the ultrasonic unit. On the power and control cabinet we have the main power switch and a filtered ventilation uh, opening. And now we move to the ultrasonic unit where the air intake shipping plug is removed. The air intake uh, is left open. The misupply opening is the shipping plug is removed, the O-rings are removed from the uh, shipping plug and inserted on a connection piece. The connection piece is uh, reattached to the misupply opening. There is a misupply opening on the right hand side of the cabinet where this procedure has to be repeated. And then the humidification tube is inserted into the connector. The water supply is controlled by the solenoid valve. First of all, you remove the shipping plug, insert the 8 millimeter tubing into the water connection. The water connection comes from the reverse osmosis unit. The locked electrical cabinet is supplied with a red light for uh, alarm indication and a green light for operation. The lock uh, is opened. The cabinet is opened, showing all of the electrical uh, components. The main switch, the fuses, the contactors for the ultrasonic elements, the transformers to provide the proper voltage, the microprocessor, the auxiliary relays, and this is the operations manual and wiring diagram. And the, cab the fan for the cabinet ventilation. The ultrasonic unit is equipped with a drain valve to ensure that no water is left in the ultrasonic unit when it's turned off. 
a 14 millimeter tubing is connected to the drain and the other end of which is connected to the storm sewer. This is the other uh, misapply opening that we talked about previously. This electrical cabinet is also equipped with numbered quick connectors with matching numbers on the cable connectors. After this, the installation is ready for operation.